Hello YouTube and welcome to Heathen Hacks. Today we're going to unbox a relatively cheap 142-in-1 tech toolkit from Aurea. See what tools are included inside and find out if it's worth the money. Let's go! Here it is out of the packaging, and judging by its color scheme, how the pouch is constructed and what tools are present, it seems like it's trying to be a cheaper alternative for iFixit's Protect Toolkit. These are the stuff that are included inside, one metal spudger, one nylon spudger or prying tool, one stick pick with spudger and hook. The way you use it is like this, imagine my pointy and thumb fingers is the case, okay? So, you insert the spudger part into the small opening like this, then turn it. Doing that would make the case be caught by the hook which would make the prying process a little bit easier. One flexible extension bit. Also has one anti-static brush but according to its product page, it's a cleaning brush so I'm not entirely sure. One tweezers for holding SMD components while soldering or desoldering I guess. One pair of crowbar spudgers and finally, one suction cup and one seam tray tool. Moving on to the bits. Okay, let's see. Apparently, it should have 120 pieces of precision high grade CRV or chromium vanadium steel screwdriver bits and 22 other tools. However, it looks like the 142 in one is a lie because some of the bits are in pairs. A lot of them have two pieces of the same bit. See? Instead of having 12 Phillips bit with varying sizes, it only has 6 pairs. I'm not sure why, maybe they are there as spare bits or I don't know. One thing I do know is that it's misleading. A little bit disappointing to be honest. Then again, it's pretty cheap so, you know, gotta manage my expectations I guess. Alright, here are the bits that are included. 6 pairs of 90 degrees Phillips or JIS. 4 pairs and 8 pieces of Torx, 9 pieces of tamper-proof Torx, 4 pairs of posi-drive or posi-drive bits, 2 pairs and 3 pieces of tripoint, 8 pairs of slotted or flathead bits, 4 pairs of pentalobe or 5 point star bits, 2 pairs and 11 pieces hex, 4 pieces triangle bits, 3 pieces u-shaped bits, 3 pieces square or robertson, 2 pieces seam tray bits, 2 pieces mids, don't know what this one is called, don't know what this one is called either but it looks like a curved flathead bit, 2 pieces of these pointy bits, 7 pieces nut setters or hex socket bits, 2 pieces torque sockets, and lastly this big thing. Moving on to the other side of the pouch, here we have one lens or screen cloth for cleaning mobile phone screens I guess. One magnetic screw memory mat for holding your device's, well, screws. <laughs> okay, let's see if it even works. The magnet is not that strong, but the screw is not that small either, so I guess it's good enough. Right here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 guitar picks. According to iFixit, they are called opening picks. Looks the same though. It's quite sturdy and bendable too, which is nice. Next is the screwdriver. I like this blue and black color scheme to be honest. It kinda looks like my old precision screwdriver, albeit a little different. Not gonna lie, I kinda wish that it has some extension bit like my old one though. Seems like this kit doesn't have one. Nani? Oh, apparently it has one. It's just built into the screwdriver. So it can extend this long, around 4 inches. You just need to pull this lock thingy right here to extend it and put it back. Very nice. It also has a magnetizer, the magnetizer thing to magnetize and demagnetize your bits as needed. Now, where can we use a demagnetizer and why is it important? It's a case to case basis but if you're working on a tight space with metal everywhere like a PC case, there's a tendency that your bit would get pulled by the magnetic field everywhere and end up taking your time. Let's see if it works. This is a magnetized bit so it can pick up metal screws without it being magnetized. Just like that. Now if you demagnetize it, why is it not working? Oh, okay. I think it's because the extension bit is magnetized as well. Let's try it again. Demagnetize. 
and there you go the screwdriver is not picking up the metal screw now let's magnetize it again whoop there you have it now for the review upon using this to disassemble a laptop to change its thermal paste build a decent online class rig for my nephew and disassembling an old android tablet to see if the idea that popped up in my mind would work by the way it didn't i would say that this set of tools is pretty handy especially the screw memory mat the tips are quite strong as well and they're all magnetic but since it has a hint of false advertisement i won't recommend it there are other cheaper alternatives than this. Thanks for watching and see you again next week. Maybe.